Hi everyone, I'm here again. I'm going to cook our famous Filipino dish, um, chicken adobo, and uh, we're going to make it for our lunch today. So let's do this. Okay, first thing I want I want to show you how to cut the chicken. I'm using here a whole whole breast. So let's uh, cut the chicken. I, I like to, I like to keep the bone in because when it comes to chicken adobo. You you want to put the you want to use the meat with bones and it's a lot better and I love to keep the the skin as well. Let's cut them into pieces like this. So hard here. Cut them in half. You could also use pork. You want pork? Some people love pork. And yeah, I prefer chicken today. If you don't want the, the skin on it, you could take them off, but I'd rather keep the cheek the skin because it gives uh, more little fat in there, you know, so not be not too dry. I also just that. Okay, almost done. Yeah, a little tough. There you go. You could cut them into any pieces how you want, small or big pieces. So there. So now it's all ready and I'm going to wash the meat and put it in a pot. Okay, now here's the the main two ingredients that we need. I'm using uh, dato puti soy sauce. Um, and I prefer using apple cider vinegar. Okay, and we also need black pepper. And we need chopped onions. Uh, chopped garlic and some bay leaves and the chili is optional if you want to give a little kick a little spicy it's up to you but it's optional but we usually put chili on our adobo okay so let's start put it on the meat I put the meat in the pan okay now I'm using my juicer uh, measuring cup so uh, let's go to a half cup half cup of vinegar using half cup vinegar so now I like to use one is to one ratio. So half cup of vinegar and I'm using another half cup of soy sauce. Okay, let's put the vinegar here. Now I'm gonna I'm do a half cup of soy sauce. Actually sometimes they come out like a little bit too sour. Uh, if you do a uh, half cup of vinegar, half cup of vinegar, so you could do a little bit more, like a quarter more of, of uh, soy sauce. Just a little bit more than a half cup. Okay, I want to pour them in there. Because the aroma smells good already. And let's put the garlic. Some people, uh, especially me, I like to um, marinate first my meat, but since you gotta cook this slowly, simmer, so pretty much it's the same thing with marinate, especially when you're in a hurry, you know. Okay, put the bay leaves, and like I said, the chili, optional, and just cover it. The pepper. Now uh, I'm going to cover this. And let's boil this. The one start boiling, we could start simmering. Because now it's been five minutes and it's boiling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stir it. Stir all the ingredients, the chicken together. So um, so now uh, I'm going to cover it again. So let's simmer it on low low heat. About 30 minutes to 40 minutes. It depends how much tender you want the chicken. So I'm going to on low. There you go. Okay, now while I'm waiting for my 30 to 40 minutes for my chicken adobo, so I'm going to make my side dish. It's a Mexican uh, salsa, pico de gallo, my favorite. So I love to eat this uh, as a side dish of my chicken adobo and my rice. And they are really, really good and a little spicy. So I put uh, jalapenos, onions, limes, tomatoes, and cilantro. You could put a lot of cilantro if you want to. So anyway, um, the reason I'm doing uh, uh, my cooking videos, um, I'm so thankful of uh, 
uh, nerd ma nummies and hila cooking yeah you guys inspired me a lot so and that's why i started doing my little uh cooking videos you know and um you guys inspired me thank you so much okay so here's my finished uh pico de gallo i chop everything and uh, squeeze the limes in there and just put uh, salt little salt and black pepper and that's it they're very very delicious all right it's been 40 minutes i actually made it 40 minutes longer i love it tinder so um i'm going to turn it off um i tried them earlier when you're not looking so they just taste perfectly you don't need to add anything uh half cup of vinegar a uh, 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 half cup of soy sauce but a little bit more and it's just perfect you don't have to add any salt or nothing Okay, so let's try it. And the juices, the, the juices in it, just so good for your rice. So you just put them over top, top of your rice. There you go. And of course, my favorite guy, my favorite side dish. So there you go. So now let's try it. Look at how so tender it is. Right. Mm. Mm. Yummy, so delicious. My favorite adobo. And anyway, thank you for watching and hope you guys enjoy my video and let me know how yours come out. Thank you.